At MIT, researchers studying a very different use of vibration and weight loss, specifically a pill that vibrates in your stomach, is being tested now. It's officially called the Vibratory Ingestible Bioelectronic Stimulator, or VIBES, for short, if that's a mouthful. Here's how it works. A patient is taking it on an empty stomach before eating, hypothetically. The pill would dissolve in the stomach and release the vibrating spring, vibrating for around a half hour, eventually passing through the digestive tract within four to five days. Now, the pill effectively tricks the brain into thinking it's full. For more insight on this, we want to welcome in Dr. Shriya Srinivasan, who helped develop this pill and is the lead author of a new study on it. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So this is still in the very early stages, we want to point out. It's only been tested on, on, on animals so far. Can you talk more about what it was uh, found to do in, in pigs that it was tested in? Yeah, absolutely. So in the pigs that we treated with this pill, we found that they ate about 40% less food than they normally consumed. We also found that they were pretty inactive or a little bit sleepy after these meals, uh, which is similar to something we might you know, call a food coma in humans. So it's promising, early, but promising um, that using these sort of mechanoreceptors and triggering the stomach to actually feel full might allow for some calorie restriction automatically. Have any negative side effects been found so far? In our studies, we didn't capture any negative side effects, um, but we'll have to do more long-term studies and, of course, in humans before we can say for sure. Yeah, so what is the timeline, the very soonest this could be available for people if all goes well, and, and also any approximate cost on this? Yeah, in terms of cost, we think it's actually going to be quite scalable um, and accessible to global populations. It'll probably be on the order of a few dollars um, and, and cheaper than that as you know we increase scale. Timeline, we're hoping to get it out into the market um, after testing in humans uh, in about a year or two. A lot of the components of this are similar to things like PillCam, which are already on the market. And so we think it would have a pretty straightforward pathway. You know, the pill is being promoted as a cheaper, non-invasive option to treat obesity and other weight-related illnesses. In the future, do you think that this could rival drugs like Ozempic that have become so popular? What advantages does this have over Ozempic? Yeah, absolutely. Since this pill triggers a natural mechanism that's used by the body to tell your brain that it's full, it may avoid some of the adverse side effects that are seen by other drugs, uh, things like stomach pain, um, a loss of motility, vomiting, nausea. Um, and as compared to the surgical options, it's, of course, much more cost effective, uh, which would make it accessible to the millions of people that suffer with obesity. Yeah. Would patients likely take this every four to five days, their whole life in perpetuity? Or could it be used off and on in times of year where when people want to indulge a little more or to help people achieve a weight goal over a span of weeks or months? I think it could be taken off and on on an as needed basis. Uh, the four to five days is actually in pigs, which normally take about seven to nine days to pass um, their meals or pass devices. In a human, we, we suspect that it would come out at the same time as a meal, so about 24 hours. So you would take it with each, each meal as needed, but certainly I think it could be used to get folks to a spot where they can um, alter their other parts of their lifestyle and, and get back on track. All right, Dr. Srinivasan, I really appreciate your time tonight. It's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.